Okay, uh, hi guys, again, my name is Anatoly. I'm a, a, ju a junior DevOps in the Surf company. And today I will try to tell you about the approach, uh, how you can test and refactor your Ansible roles. We started test uh, our Ansible roles uh, just several uh, months ago and we have uh, some experience in it. And today I will share it with you. So, so first of all, all written code should be tested, even written in YAML. Uh, developer uh, used this directory as a standard, uh, but for some reason, DevOps often omit it. And I think it's not a good uh, decision. So why do we need it, this? I believe uh, that we need this because it makes it easy to understand and support correct code. Uh, look at the code on the left, it's a real part of code of roller that we have one or two years ago. Uh, I actually, uh, I don't remember when. Uh, I found uh, three important problems there, so maybe you can try to find them too. Um, so what's the next? Uh, Well-written code often work faster. Uh, and a uh, human factor is uh, removed during testing and uh, the probability of breaking something decreases. Uh, here I mean that we do not use uh, not tested Ansible code on real and working um, environment uh, on QA, for example. And it saves time, it's really true. Uh, it often happened that one person wrote a role and the second one uh, need to fix uh, something. Um, but uh, how to test the changes? Um, most likely the second guy will set up the Vagrant machine, I guess, and uh, run code there, or worse, try to run it on working environment. Um, and it's, not yet clear which variable he will uh, use. Um, but what if uh, in a few hours he discovered uh, uh, that some kind of bug, it will be necessary to start it over again. Uh, want it? So next. Um, uh, this slide shows a possible solution uh, to how to solve the problem uh, with testing. Uh, the simplest way is using of the uh, of the combination of Vagrant and Ansible. Uh, those who tested their uh, code most likely use this approach. I believe in it. Uh, the second method, method uh, is use the chain uh, kitchen CI plus Docker, plus Ansible, and plus server spec. Uh, this old method can uh, come to us from such a tool as Chief and Fun of Ruby, of course. Uh, well, and the last uh, method is to use a mole molecule test framework. Uh, let's look at this uh, in a great detail. So, why exactly molecule tool? Uh, because it is maintained by Ansible Red Hat team and uh, support a huge number of, of drivers uh, and it uh, written in Python. Uh, configuration uh, has YAML format. Uh, thus is easy to start working with, with it. And of course, uh, molecule has a lot of star on GitHub. Uh, uh, but uh, I guess um, you just need to understand that uh, Molecular is a tool that allows you to quickly deploy uh, your test environment, uh, apply your code to it, and in case of any errors, go to the test um, to go to the test instance instance and see uh, what the problem is. Uh, let's move on. So on this slide is shown all the basic steps of testing with the molecule. 
uh, on the first step, we check the syntax and formatting of the written code and test, um, respectively. Uh, in this case, the YAML lint and Ansible lint uh, we use to check YAML files and flag uh, aid for check Python ones. Uh, then we create and prepare instances on which uh, we are going to test uh, our role with number of different drivers uh, for different infrastructure source. For example, it can be Docker, Vagrant, EC2, and so on. Then, uh, <clears throat> then we run our role on all the created instances. Uh, after that, uh, uh, make sure our, our role is successful and that the planet change have been applied to each instance. Uh, to verify, uh, verify changes, it is, possible, it is possible to use test infra, for example, uh, for those who are familiar with Ruby and uh, those who prefer simplicity and yum, better to use Ansible of, or Ghost Verifier. Uh, the last step is terminate any infrastructure created in the first step to leave everything clear. Um, and you also sh should to know that there uh, are additional steps and their order can be changed. You should know it. So, uh, how to install and start using this awesome tool? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, you just need to install several, several Python packages, uh, then clone a repo <laughs> made by me, um, if you want it. Uh, then create a new roller using a cookie cutter uh, template and check that the roller was created correctly just by launching molecular wind. Uh, those who are not familiar with this uh, cookie, cu cookie cutter, I highly recommend it to familiar with it. It's a very uh, powerful tool. It's uh, like a Jinja tool, maybe you know it. I believe that you know. Uh, but it's used uh, immediately for the entire uh, hierarchy of the directories. Uh, you, you can create, uh, for example, it uh, template for Terraform, for some Python project, and many others. So uh, the next slide. Yep, uh, the, sim the simplest molecular configuration is described here. Uh, it's just one file where, uh, we, uh, file where we have a configuration of uh, dependency manager, uh, specified driver, by default is a uh, uh, Docker, but if you use molecular version three, it's a new version, uh, and you have to use to, for example, EC2 driver. You you have to download this driver separately. Uh, before version three, all these drivers if you're built in. Uh, then there is a linter configuration. After that, we need to specify the Docker image and uh, additional option if necessary. Uh, it is possible to specify several instances here if you want. Uh, and only one provision is used and it's uh, Ansible. Last option is uh, a verify. By default it's uh, Ansible, but as I said, you can use test infra, service pack or ghost. So move on. Yeah. Uh, here is the text matrix. Uh, by default, this uh, consists of uh, 13 steps uh, that can be moved or removed uh, at, at all for their needs. So uh, dependency, it's a download the uh, dependencies, a lean, run different lean, yum, ancillin, uh, flake eight, uh, maybe other, uh, clean up, clean up, uh, as you see, it's a clean up instances, uh, then destroy, this is, uh, it means that 
destroy previous created, for example, Docker container or EC2 instances. Check instances, it's simple. Then create the Docker container or instance. Then prepare these instances uh, and uh, run the converge, it's, I mean, uh, run our playbook on this instance. Then we check in the impotence. In the impotence, uh, our role, uh, it means the run playbook again to check that nothing is marked as changed. Uh, side effect, uh, it's use just optional. And verify, uh, verify uh, our state of container or instance and uh, clean up and destroy it. So, uh, yeah, um, the following two si slides uh, show how to uh, show how continuous integration for the role of testing can be imple implemented. So my proposal is uh, check the following role uh, for the structure and uh, then run molecular lint. The hard way is uh, check the role of all the structure uh, as well and run a full molecular test. Um, um, uh, but uh, you can turn off unnecessary step or I mean, in this scenario, you can turn off some steps or change their sequence if you need it. Then after the theory of continuous integration uh, for roller testing, we move on to the practice. Uh, here is the implementation on the GitLab. A uh, couple of more about this, um, here we use a uh, official molecular image to run um, Bastion container and attach uh, container did as a service. And you must uh, specify Docker host variable here, otherwise the Docker will not be able to start. Uh, after the start, we run molecular test inside the, role, uh, inside the roller folder. And that's all, um, yeah, uh, but Pay more attention to the uh, block if. Uh, here we have two variables. It's a CI merge request ID and run molecular test. Uh, first one help us to launch the uh, test every time when we change something in the role and merge, uh, and merge track request is exist uh, for this part of code. Uh, but the second variable help us to launch the test every time when we change something in the roller and uh, only um, only when we push the change and specify the git, git push uh, option, um, CI, uh, CI variable, um, run molecular test equals true. I will show you how to use this option on the demo. So uh, the next three slides uh, will be a little boring for you guys, I guess, I guess but uh, it's very important steps. Uh, I will try to uh, br uh, briefly uh, explain. So in the first step, it's uh, write all variables used in the roller to default or, or was uh, in task where confidential data is used, uh, uh, this data must be masked. For example, you can uh, use the uh, password in inside environment variable or just specify no log true. Uh, then if some action is repeated several times, it should be included in one task using a role and uh, make a monolithic uh, for option, it's a make a monolithic roller that is used for a logical uh, unif uh, unified attack, for example. Uh, here, example. And uh, do not duplicate rollers for different environments. Uh, you should make <coughs> a universal roller. So, uh, a moment. 
um, uh, then uh, you should make a deep content run. It's provide uh, an understanding of what has changed in the of a system, and playbook run uh, runtime may decrease. Uh, do not use ignorers. It's a good idea, and uh, if you know uh, that you don't need any facts data about your force, you can turn off the fact gathering, and of course you should will. Uh, fill readme file for the ROM. Let's as the team members understand how to work with the uh, with your role. Uh, so here is a uh, real use cases uh, and couple uh, word about this. Um, I um, since we cannot test uh, all and everything, we need to. Uh, have a checklist uh, by which you can check the role manually in this. So I add this best practice here. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, here is a real use cases. So for simple, I guess for simple roles uh, that do not require a lot of depends, uh, we can use just a Docker driver. But if you have a very complex uh, infrastructure, so I guess it is better to use uh, a delegate uh, driver. Uh, we can use this approach, uh, for example, when um, uh, when we can effort to always have uh, up and running test uh, in, uh, environment. But I believe that need to, uh, that need to change the test matrix a bit. First of all, uh, we should uh, remove create and destroy steps. We don't need uh, these steps. And secondly, need to add cleanup steps uh, that will bring uh, instance uh, back to its original form. Uh, and I guess that's pretty much all. So next, yeah, uh, problems that may arise. So yeah, the, as you can see, there is no uh, Kubernetes driver. And we currently, we will try to move to Kubernetes and we find just only two possible solutions. It's a create your uh, own driver or a use a delegate, um, uh, delegate driver, but we need uh, we have to create create and destroy play playbook and uh, have to connect to container via SSH. And it's a short implementation scenario. Uh, first of all, you should discuss um, the Ansible best practice specified to your team and prepare the uh, appropriate page. Then create a cookie cut um, role template if you need it. Configure a CI for role testing. Then change existing role, um, role to match cookie cut template. Fill out readme file. Make basic range and make a common correction. That's all. And here is some reference references. Um, and okay, and now I will show you some short demo. Uh, here is my repository that I uh, made uh, special for this uh, demo, and let let clone it. Okay, change directory. Okay. Just as Just my configuration, don't look at there. And go to the roles and create a, for example, new role with cookie cutter. Oh, oh 
yeah let's try again yeah let's leave it as default by default role name uh, let's change it for example you know demo role company default by default version of changes uh, main version let's say david zero uh, yeah, default 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 yeah and now we have a new role sorry for interruption what, yeah. uh, what this ansible role going to do uh, this uh, demo role you, do you mean yeah uh, just nothing it's a uh, just a, a template so uh, I, I will show you a moment yeah just template and we can I will show you a default yeah but, Ah, sorry, need to change directory. So it's empty. Uh, uh, we can add uh, some step, for example, if you need. Let's add it. Example, and we need to specify text because I specified it in a molecular YAML. Demo text, yeah. Yes. Text, not so. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. my mistake yes, that's so and we can try to test it with a molecular but uh, before I will show you a molecular configuration yes it will be interesting we So it's just one file and it includes uh, linter uh, check-ins. Uh, there are some uh, custom uh, rule of YAML and custom rule, one, just one, uh, custom rule Ansible that located in uh, Ansible lint directory. And we guess it's all. So we can, uh, uh, test our role uh, locally on our machine we can just uh, do molecular test or I guess it's better to use a, a docker container that we use or will be used uh, uh, on your uh, CI so just run Uh, so there is several steps. We check it. YAML lint, then Ansible lint, destroy. But we don't have what destroy. Couple of seconds. Hmm. 
Twitch. I didn't see our hello world here. <laughs> Perhaps uh, some mistake with them. Thanks. Let's okay. Let's just move it. Rem uh, remove. Rem Thanks. And uh, create a let's create a separate uh, branch. So we will test it uh, on via uh, our CI. Git uh, git checkout. checkout demo. Mm -hmm. And change some step in GitLab CI. Okay. Mm -hmm. Them are all, yeah. Don't remember. No, they were all. I guess that's all. So we change it. Let's edit. Git. And um, git commit again. Mm -hmm. So git. Mm. So yeah. What git git push. Push force. So I uh, will do git push force together with a special variable. Uh, I mentioned it about it on the uh, slide. Minus O. It helped us to run uh, our um, CI just only when we need it. Look at here. Yeah, uh, just run twice. Hmm, strange. Um, I guess that's all. Maybe you have some question. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One more, one question from my side. How to integrate this Moveco with some CI tools? In your case, is it GitLab? Yep. Yeah, uh, we used GitLab, so I provide you 
instruction for GitLab. But you, uh, you can do it for GitHub or any other CI, I don't know, for, via Jenkins, for example, if you need it. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is just simple example. You saw it. We used a molecular and used a service Dickin Docker Dean. So we run molecular and we with <laughs> this um, Docker and it run it create a separate a Docker uh, instance uh, where we run our playbook. Mm. I answered on your question. Did yep. Probably we we'll check this. Maybe Natalia makes sense to describe why we created separate instance. Uh, describe problem if we have during this realization. Um, uh, I actually don't understand. Can you explain uh, what you mean? Uh, uh, why we created separate instance for running uh, test? Uh, because we have problems uh, why we don't, during. Uh, yep. Do you mean why we not uh, use the same instance? Uh, Yep. Where we run molecular, yep. uh, bec um, because uh, molecular uh, on molecular we have. Uh, I mean this in this case molecular like uh, our host, and we create a separate uh, Docker container. It's uh, like uh, our real instances. Uh, did I answer on your question, Yuri? Do you understand me? <laughs> or? Yeah, for me it is clear. Um, I guess guys will be interested in it. So your host you probably is like in production environment. Yep. Uh, yeah, like a test maybe stage. It is maybe like uh, regression testing. Uh, through special host because uh, next uh, rollout, this is changes on another environments need uh, full regression testing for, uh, before we start apply these changes on another environments. Yep. Maybe as a question. And I guess that's all.